Welcome to Fright Fest. It's nice to have you here in Glasgow. Um, want to give us a, a little overview of the film before we start? Yeah, it's, um, it's a Danish uh, horror movie. And it's, um, it's, actually, it's actually from, uh, from a novel. Um, it's based on a novel by um, a Danish writer uh, called Sten Lamstrup. And he's the local Stephen King, you can mm -hmm. say. Quite mm -hmm. popular. Been around for 25 years. Uh, done a lot of uh, novels and books. Um, especially on horror. Also on thriller. And um, I knew him from way back. And uh, when we wanted to, uh, to do a horror movie, I just asked him, do you have anything on the shelf? Mm -hmm. And he pointed out uh, yeah, the novel. And I, I, just, I, I, I actually just read it uh, overnight, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's a challenging film. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is quite challenging. And uh, it, it's so challenging. Why did you want to take it on? Yeah, <clears throat> it was quite um, it was quite challenging because normally I'm I'm a wimp myself. Uh -huh. So uh, and 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 when I watch DVDs, horror uh, horror films on DVDs, if if it gets too uh, too frightening, I actually t uh, turn on the uh, the commentary track uh, by the director <laughs> just to get get off. So it was uh, quite challenging. But what I thought was uh, was quite good about the um, uh, about this film was that it was actually. Um, it made a comment on the, how you use internet and how you uh, use uh, entertainment mm -hmm. on the internet. And, um, and in these times where you can go to dark web uh, with a Tor browser and uh, some bitcoins, mm. uh, you can actually get access to all kinds of uh, horrific entertainment. Mm. And that was actually what uh, turned me on. So mm. it's, it's about voyeurism and uh, Cl classical way to, to do it is that you, you introduce two uh, or, or, or a woman or two women in, in our case then in 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 the start they they don't realize what danger they're in mm. quite slowly they discover that uh, this is uh, the case and um, without spoiling too much I can say that uh, that they actually uh, they get up and, and, and beat up. back yeah this is also an important film for the Danish film industry because the Danish Film Institute and um, not big fans of supporting horror no that that's right uh, that's right um the, uh, the yeah you can say the, tr the tradition uh, in danish cinema is actually that you support mostly drama and children's stuff um and horror films and more uh, films of exploitations uh, uh, that that's normally not not the case but in this case, they um, they said that uh, they, the, the consultant at the Danish Film Institute said that the, he thought it was a good film to uh, to mm -hmm. support, and uh, I was a bit um, I was a bit in doubt how uh, expressionistic do we want to be with all the violence and mm -hmm. the gore, and uh, my personal opinion in the start was actually that we wanted to tone it down. Okay. Yeah. But then the Film Institute, the consultant actually said, okay, if we support you and and your film. You need to uh, put the, uh, the the pedal to the metal, uh, as he said. And the film's been released in Scandinavia. It has been, yeah, um, and um, has it was released uh, end of November, so it's quite new still. Um, and in, in these times where you have Netflix and HBO, uh, the audience for uh, for horror films uh, in Scandinavia, I don't know, maybe it's also the same in UK, but in Scandinavia. Um, most people actually go to the streaming uh, yes. platforms yeah. in order to see uh, horror films, where they go to the cinema in order to see the new Marvel. Your background in film, uh, how did you come to make this film? What have you done before? Yeah, before I, act I actually produced for uh, almost 20 years. Um, and I produced a lot of films, uh, Danish films, and, and it has been actually horror films, but there has been uh, dramas and... Uh, youth uh, dramas as well, mm -hmm. so um, and documentaries and local TV stuff. And then about six or seven years ago, I thought about uh, actually uh, directing myself. And I've done some short films and I've done also uh, web films and commercials. Mm -hmm. And I thought that maybe it would be a good idea to do a, a horror film. And the next film, um, I have several projects. I actually have... Uh, um, a Danish comedy, oh. <laughs> <laughs> completely different, completely different. But uh, but it has the same same thing uh, as uh, finale. It has uh, it's it's something which is um, which can be um, it has something on my heart actually. I want to tell something, and mm -hmm. that was also the case with uh, with finale. 
But then uh, I've actually been looking towards uh, the UK writer Kim Newman. Oh yeah, yeah, Kim. yeah we know yeah. Kim. Yeah, Kim. Kim's a big fr big fan. Of yeah, Fred. yeah. I also I talked to him about. Uh, he was actually the one who suggested. Ah, okay. Go, going to uh, to Fright Fest, and uh, uh, I've actually been looking uh, towards Kim's work for for years. So uh, hopefully uh, I can do something. Okay, out well, of books. Yeah. thank you very much. Thank you.